Do you guys want to hear something very, very funny? I'm actually making more of a profit on Terminator than Terminator itself. I'm making more money than Terminator Dark Fate just sitting in my home office talking about Terminator Dark Fate. The joke is on you, Terminator Woke Fate. Now, the first week of this movie was a monumental disaster. Nobody showed up to see this movie. It made $29 million in the domestic box office here in the U.S. The lowest grossing movie through the first week of any Terminator franchise. Actually, I believe it was on par with Terminator Genesis, somewhere around there. But however, Genesis had the overseas market to save it a little bit. Not so much with Terminator Woke Fate. Now, Terminator Woke Fate, the numbers are out for the projections for the second weekend of this movie at the box office. And it is looking absolutely terrible. Unbelievably bad. So let's look at these numbers here. Looking at this, it says Terminator Dark Fate will flicker out by dropping 50 to 55 percent in weekend number two with 13 to 14.5 million. Through the first five days, the Tim Miller directed pick has made 34.5 million, the lowest five day total take of the last five Terminator movies. Wow. Is anyone really surprised by this news? I know I'm not. Because it's just simple. When you get woke, you go broke. They had to kill off John Connor for Danny Ramos. Killing off John Connor was probably the biggest mistake of James Cameron's career, even though that's probably the extent he had in this movie. But however, it was still his idea to kill off John Connor for no good reason. And when that clip got around YouTube before the movie was released in the United States, People said, wait a minute, I can't watch this movie now. I saw the whole entire movie because they killed off John Connor. He was the savior. So that retcons T1 and T2. Now they're going to pay the price in week two. I'm starting to wonder how long this movie will last in the theaters. I don't see an extended box office run to this movie. I've seen some estimates where they think this movie is going to only take around 250 to 300 million total worldwide. Unbelievably bad. Now, you thought Genesis was bad at the box office. You ain't seen nothing yet. Terminator Woke Fate is about to take that title bit time. I think this movie is going to make less than Terminator Genesis. I think it's going to be about $100 million less, if not more. And they're going to pay the price. Skydance must really love losing money on Terminator movies because they put out Terminator Genesis. The big losers in this is Skydance and Walt Disney. Yes, you heard that correct. Fox Studios finance 30% of it. Disney owns Fox. So therefore, they will eat 30% of that production cost. Wow, you got to love it. And Disney, you have episode nine coming out next month. Take note, that movie isn't going to do as well as you think it is. Now, granted, Star Wars is not going to lose money at the box office, but it won't perform as well because you know why? When you get woke, you go broke. And I have to tell you this. Even a website like the Mary Sue, who is all into female empowerment. Check this out. They have an article that says we went there. A feminist interpretation of Terminator Dark Fate. And they say this, okay, first things first, I need to be up front and say that Terminator Dark Fate is not a very good movie. In fact, it's actually pretty bad. After viewing it, my friend pointed out that with each new failed attempt to reboot this franchise, Dark Fate was supposed to be the start of a new trilogy. That Terminator now has, in fact, a trilogy of failed reboots. Wow. The Mary Sue, the Mary Sue is going after Terminator Dark Fate. They're even saying this movie isn't good, even with three female leads. You cannot please SJWs. SJWs do not support your product. This is living proof. Terminator is dead.
Terminator is going to lose so much money. Let the past die. Kill it if you have to. They took that Star Wars moniker and they applied it to Terminator Dark Fate because they killed off John Connor. John Connor was our hero. Now, apparently Skydance is not going to go forward with any future Terminator Dark Fate sequels. So you know what? That's the end of Danny Ramos's career as a savior of humanity. Because that is a character that resonated with no one. No one liked that character. A lot of people were very, very pissed off that John Connor got killed off for her for no good reason whatsoever, other than that he was a white male. And in 2019, SJW say white males are bad. Your heroes from the 1980s, they are bad. You know why? That's why Rambo got such bad reviews from the audience. Well, not the audience, but I should say the media. Whereas the audience actually gave Rambo Last Blood a very, very high score. Hollywood, take note. The audience knows what we want. We want our old characters to live on. We don't want them killed off for no good reason. We don't care about your identity politics. We just want good stories first. And you're not giving that to us. And that's why the box office is suffering in 2019. We know that you want a political agenda in every single movie. You want this fake, phony representation across the board. Fans only care about the story. We don't care about your identity politics. We don't go into movies thinking, you know what? How many white people are in this movie? How many straight men are in this movie? How many LGBTQ characters are in this movie? We do not care. We only care about good stories, great characters. Terminator had a lot working for it after T2, but you know what? You have failed on every single level. And now you're only going to make 13 million the second weekend. Just imagine what the overseas box office drop is going to be on this movie. I wish we had the projections for that, but we do not. So the numbers are what they are. And the first weekend was pretty close to the estimates. So if you get 15 million this second weekend, consider that a victory. But no matter what, you are not making a profit on this movie. You have killed the Terminator franchise once and for all, Scott Ants, once and for all, David Ellison. And there's nothing that can save it. Guess what, guys? Terminator is officially terminated. But that's just my thoughts on this. What are your thoughts on this? Let me know what you guys think about all this in the comments. If you're new here to the channel, please hit subscribe to catch future videos from me. And we will catch you on the next video. John Matrix out.